All right, here's one of my girls, Saki. I have four socks, but Saki from Japan because I grew up in Japan. So it made sense to me when I rescued her. It's a chilly uh, day here. I gotta take all this off to get this on. It's a chilly day here in Texas, so she's shivering because we just came from outside, went potty first. And she's uh, got all his clothes on because she's shedding a storm. David wanted to, David, my partner, wanted to um, grow her hair out, but I've never really wanted to grow her hair out because she sheds so much. She is a Shih Tzu Chihuahua mix. She has the attitude of a Shih Tzu and she has the hair and body type of a Chihuahua. If you let the, uh, it, she has, did I say a hair of a Shih Tzu? She's got some Shih Tzu stuff, but the mix, Chihuahua and Shih Tzu. But she has the Chihuahua shedding issues, like shedding like crazy, like hair in your mouth shedding. So we're going to uh, do a seven reverse, which I've been doing since I've owned her. She's about uh, seven or eight now. To look at. How old are you, Saki? I don't like to ca keep track of the years anymore. I have an idea, but I don't like to memorize them. So she's born in 2011. So seven years old in July is what it looks like she's going to be. Okay, so we're going to do a seven reverse. And if I could tell you anything, it would be that we are driven crazy by a lot our whole bed having hair in it. So I said we are, we have to do this. <laughs> I just love my sake. Okay. So get your face mask, people. And we, uh, I, I'm the groomer, I'm the owner, and this is my dog. And so I choose to shave her down. I also choose to not blow dry either. So So, I mean, if you are going, moving pretty quickly, you know, like I like to do, we'll have her shaved down in about eight minutes. I actually love this stuff. I'm gonna leave it there today. It does this like it, like she's wearing a cape, you know? I just totally love that stuff, so I'm leaving all that. Dave's over here blowing kisses to Saki. Does uh, Saki shed? Yeah. A lot? A lot. All over a pillow? Everywhere. Everywhere. You wanted to grow her out though, right? Yeah. And now what happens? Been, uh, I think it's been grow out. It's been going three months now. It's not going to work, is it? Between her and Faith, there's hair everywhere, huh? Yeah. And I like the scraggly head too, the wildness. I'm just going to leave all that alone. Gives her, her, I shaved it all a few times and it looks great and clean and everything, but it does, man. It's a little different. Let me see your foot. I'm not even doing the nails, man. Let me see. If she wants to fight that reverse, I'm going to just go 10 down right there, anyway. It's the same thing. There's a lot of, um, from just now walking her, there's some. So tin down real fast here. And y'all groomers know what I'm talking about when I say, you know, you get home and you're like, I don't want, you, you know, the last grooms you do, 
including like any job you have. When you get home and you're, you're a hairstylist, you don't want to do all your kids' hair, you know? You're tired and, and you just want to rest and enjoy your family, but we groom them about... David probably bathes the dogs about every week and a half, two weeks. Just because I think he really enjoys it. Uh, but we do a haircut probably every two to three months. If you do this shave down three months, about three months you won't have any shedding. It's amazing. So that's why, I man, if you haven't tried it, I wouldn't hate on it until you actually do it. And you'll be like, wow. If you have a shedder, if you have a dog that sheds a lot, try it once and you might never go back. And as a groomer, I kind of don't care about the flurries. Who cares? I'm not really picky about that kind of stuff. I just would rather get done and go home. And uh, the hair is going to grow out anyway. So all the tiny little stuff in my way, I'm not going to really care. I don't care. It doesn't do anything except for just hanging there. And I was like, oh, it's, it's a little uneven. Oh, well, who cares? And y'all probably are not going to be able to tell it's uneven, you know? I'm going to leave this whole little thing going on there. I'm actually going to see how this, what does the Furminator do for you. If it pulls out any dead hairs, barely. Oh, it's so smooth already. Man, it's so nice. Oh, there's a little tiny bit from the Furminator. So I'll get a little bit of that extra that's still kind of stuck in there. Some of that dead stuff still stuck in the hair follicle. Oh, really, really around the neck there. Really got a bunch around the neck. Okay. How did he leave you guys here? Real good head. Real good there on the chin. Inverted V there. Know your skin flaps and know that there's a wrinkle there or not. I pick her face like every day so I know there's, there's not a skin wrinkle there. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do right there, just like that. All right, we're going to go get faith. We'll okay, so this is the hold y'all need to do. He's going to, he's focusing his hand on the jaw this is if someone if you guys are trying to do your dog's nail trim in a small size then this is what i need you to focus on okay so he's got a this is our own dog and this is a i can get in here and feel her throat nothing's holding there that's a good hold there again i've done this before i can actually take blood here if i was a vet tech okay Real nice and easy. He's got control here. He can actually move the thumb under the, the right there. Okay, and then he, and if it's someone else, I might go head over there. Might push, keep her head away from me. Okay, but she's our own dog. So this is the hold you want, and you want. If you don't know what you're doing on nail trimming, don't do it because you could just hurt the dog. Okay. If you hurt the dog, then that's what you have to keep doing to gain trust. Is don't hurt the dog. Don't hit the vein. Okay. This is not the nail trimming video, but this is how I'm showing you with our Saki girl. She she doesn't like her nails done. I've never hit her vein, so she just doesn't like it. Um, so the proper hold will help us get our job done. Nope, nope, nope. And then, you know, you don't want to let go. So then here he can do two fingers and actually hold the wrist right here if he wants to kind of like this, right? You can do that, All right? Okay. Throat's good. Throat's real, all loose. Okay. So I've got one here. Saki, come on, man. Kind of sounds like Jerry's dog, huh? Mm -hmm. That chihuahua in her, man. Stop. You got, you're going to make me get the vein yak like that. Quick flinch might hurt yourself. 
It's okay. You're okay. You're okay, Saki. I can't believe you're my own dog. What are you acting like here? It's embarrassing. Okay, oh, well, there's not much to take off those. Okay, all done. See? All done. Yeah. Yeah, see? All done, sweetie. Okay, we're going to the bath. Thanks for watching.